Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, we are doing a battle vid between the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 to find out which is the best foldable. So the Galaxy Z Fold 6 now finally has a competitor that people are interested in seeing in the US, and that is the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Now, why is it called the 9 Pro Fold? I'm not sure why, but I guess they want to keep everything in line. I wish they came up with a simpler name. This device, though, is very interesting and unique. The one thing you see is when you look at this right here, it looks like a regular smartphone, and that's something that already has an upper edge over the Galaxy Z Fold 6. The Z Fold 6, with its more pencil-like design um, comparatively feels a little bit harder to use on the cover display and that's the first difference. Now both cover displays are 6.3 inches uh, but the width is considerably better on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold which is similar to the Pixel 9 Pro so you're getting that very traditional smartphone experience. You also have the rounded edges which makes it easier to hold and one thing Hayato did mention that I didn't realize is that for me it feels more comfortable to hold on my right hand over my left hand because you've got the rounded edge on the right side and then you got the pokiness on the left. So that's something to take note. I'm also not a big fan of this kind of weird, you know, discoloration here and also just, but it's just me. It's this whole section here. It's a bit annoying, but it's just me. Now, another thing about this device is how thin it is, right? You can see just the profile. It feels like a regular smartphone. It, it's almost the same thickness. You put it next to the Z Fold 6. You can see how much thicker it is, you know? You get the idea here. So this is a very slim profile. And then you open it up and you're gifted an eight inch display. Now, both displays have a maximum nit brightness of 2700 nits, which is nice. Uh, and the lovely display uh, compared to the 7.6 on the Z Fold 6. Now, which is the better display? Honestly, I will gravitate more to the Galaxy Z Fold 6. I think it's just a uh, sharper and richer OLED. Samsung makes a lot of OLED, so I can see them first doing a really, really good job here. But it's still very good OLED displays combined together for both devices. So when you use a device like this, one thing you realize with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is this camera hump is very different from the traditional Pixel hump, which is a cross, like a bar. But also, this camera hump has some benefits. You lay both devices flat on the table, you can see how it actually moves on the table or rocks. Pixel does a much better job over the Galaxy Z Fold 6, and I kind of like that very normal use case uh, scenario with this device, and kind of wins you in a lot of ways. But you're going, okay, what else can I do with this device? What about the performance? We know this has a Tensor G4 processor in the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and the Z Fold 6 has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Looking at the Geek benchmarks, the Z Fold 6 clearly wins in every aspect. But that's not what I want to focus on. I want to focus on gaming and how the gaming experience feels, not actually plays in these devices. We know this is going to win any day of the week, that's fine. So, started playing on the cover displays for both of them. Both are 6.3 inches, Pixel 9 Pro Fold is wider, and you can clearly see as you look at them side by side, the 9 Pro Fold has a better gaming experience on the cover display. It feels very smooth. It also feels much larger. It doesn't feel really narrow and cramped compared to the Z Fold 6. Now, both devices allow you to go, of course, continue gameplay from the cover display into the internal display. You can do that in the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, the Z Fold 6. The one thing you notice in the 9 Pro Fold is that it doesn't use the full real estate, and so you've got this kind of cropped out screen in comparison to the Z Fold 6, which actually uses the whole real estate and feels more comfortable. This is where that aspect ratio really comes in, and all these devices have funky aspect ratios, cover and internal. I really like what Samsung has done here, and it makes the gaming experience so much better. I really enjoyed on the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 6. Now, viewing experience also when you're looking at just videos is something that's quite interesting. You've got a larger eight inch dis display compared to 7.6 inches. Are you getting more for, in terms of video? Going on YouTube, mm, not so much. Depending on the orientation you're holding your device, they're very similar. So you're not missing much in terms of just real estate from what you're looking at content here. But the other thing too is that you can of course go from gaming in the main display 
back to the covers display and there again. And you can also have multitasking built in. Now, we know Android has split screen multitasking, which is something you can do on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And it's limited to two apps at the same time. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 allows you to go from split scene to two apps into three applications split screen and then throw in a fourth application on top or fifth application on top or sixth one. Whatever you want to do, Samsung gives you that extra ability there, which is pretty nice to see. Now, they both have some really nice speakers, bottom fine speakers on either end of the device with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold having it on opposite sides. So one's on the cover display side, one's on the the camera home side while the z fold 6 has on the same side as the cover display so how well do they sound honestly they sound good i mean they both sound really good really solid yeah, you can pick either one i think they're good choices the Z Fold 6 has a little bit better bass, I think, while there's a little bit more audio range on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but it can really go either way. So we've seen that. We just talked about the camera hum. How good are the images? Now, a lot of you are going, mm, this is where Pixel's gonna shine. But hey, 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 they both have AI processing and some AI, you know, fun stuff. We're gonna just focus on imagery here from both cameras, looking at their main sensor, the ultra wide, and seeing how well they perform. So here's the front facing camera on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold and the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Guys, name your devices better. Too much words in there to actually call a device. But anyway, you're gonna hear the audio from both sides, both from the Pixel and the Galaxy, and see how it sounds. And then uh, we'll go ahead and look at some images. All right, so let's go ahead and imitate his zigzag as we go along. Uh, we've got nice fields here. It's uh, nice and green. There's a couple playing with a dog and uh, we got Hayato again, and he's walking into a dark corner there. Oh, I'm it looks not. scary. All right, so this one was really interesting. As you can see here on my monitor, the Galaxy has the upper hand. The Galaxy on the right, those images, especially of me's skin tone, actually matches closer to my skin tone, while the Pixel had a lot of orangey effects on there and also a lot of softening on the skin, be it with the selfie camera or even just the main camera lens itself. Uh, sometimes it also missed uh, the bokeh for portraits on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. Um, and, you know, it all, the Galaxy actually matched the scenery as well as also colors quite effectively, which was quite interesting to see. So it means that on Galaxy devices, the, your display might be doing some extra saturation for you rather than the image itself. Now, I'm not saying the Pixel image is bad, but it's clearly here that the Galaxy does a much better job overall. What about the intangibles? These are foldable devices. What else can they do? What kind of magic thing can they produce? Well, Pixel has a lot of AI features, especially with the camera, the add me feature, which is pretty nice, allowing you to get your kids in line to take photos. Uh, I love this, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to use it with my son, um, you know, a few years from now, but you get the idea. Now, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has, of course, the S Pen, which is a a uh, product that you can buy separately, allowing you to write, of course, in the internal display, not on the cover display. Only other device that has it is the S24 Ultra, but again, this is an added expense. So when it comes down to the brass tacks, which of these two devices would I actually pick? After recording this video for the upteen time, I have made my decision, AKA I've been recording this for quite a while and Hayato is pissed, he wants to go home. So it pains me to say that I would pick the Z Fold 6. It's got the better camera. It's got the better processor. It's got better internal display for me, really solid speakers, but the cover display needs a lot of work. Now, don't get me wrong. The Pixel 9 Pro Fold is really good. The cover display is excellent. Speakers are good and can play games fairly well, but on the other aspects, it loses to the uh, Z Fold 6. Now, Samsung has been rumored to have a Z Fold 6 Slim or special edition coming out. EV Leaks actually dropped that out, Evan Blast, a couple of days. 
Um, and it might be thinner, we might get something closer to this. I will say though that Google has done a really good job. And when we look at this in comparison to the Pixel Fold from last year, this is a huge leap. I mean, it's massive. And you won't be remiss by picking up this device. I think this is a solid device overall. But for me, it's the Z Fold 6. So I wanna hear what your choices are. Which would you pick? Would it be the Pixel 9 Pro Fold? Or would it be the Z Fold 6? Or would you just buy an iPhone? I know I threw a random one in there. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.